are you interested in, in in this year's election? Yes, I am. And what made you interested? If there is anyone out there, because we have a black man running for president, still doubts that America is a place where all things and are I possible. And I think that he can bring change to the world. Who still wonders if the dream of our founders is alive in our time? Bomb shot brings some peace to the world. Still questions the power of our and democracy. Do you have faith in the voting system of America? No, I do not. Tonight is your answer. And do you have faith in the voting system of America? No, I do not. Why not? Because what happened in 2000 and 2004 when they cheated for Bush. And can you describe what that was that actually happened? Well, I remember specifically in 2000. I don't know about 04, but in 2000, they didn't count all the Florida votes. And I think that was un unbiased and unjust. And but how does, do you think that cheating happened with a political party? Or yes, I think it had. Uh, I think it had something to do with a political party because, according to, according to my statement, it was Jeb Bush who was governor of Florida. He was a Republican. His brother was running for the Republican Party. So I just don't like Republicans at all. So you don't you don't have any faith in the voting system of America? No, I don't. And you said the reason why you got interested in um, this year's election because there's an African American. Right? And yes, and because he can bring change. So if 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 he was the same person. But he was just a Caucasian. He was a Hispanic. Would you still be interested? Yes, I would. As long, I'm interested in change. I don't want the same McCain Bush politics. Okay. Senator John McCain's campaign does not have the same message. And what do you think they could have done better that they didn't do um, this year? I just think they had to keep consistent and stop telling lies. Like they'll put stuff out there about Obama being with Reverend Wright, Obama being John. They, they try to attack Obama. Like they, they they act like they hate him. Obama never came out and like tried to attack McCain in that way. Only thing he attacked McCain on what McCain said. He never tried to attack McCain about um, his affiliation. I mean, he might have did that, but the way they act like when they attack him, they act like they hate him. If you can vote today, who would you vote for? A little, little less than. One year from today, you will go into the voting booth and you will select the next president of the United States of America. Senator, Senator Obama. And like I said before, I'll vote for him because I bring, he brings change and not that same McCain Bush politics. Now, here's the good news. The name George W. Bush will not be on the ballot. They just gun savvy and just want to go to war. And at least Obama's trying to bring some peace to the world. Thank you, I'm Calvin. And this he cannot is walk alone, the preacher cried. And as we walk, we must make the pledge that we shall always march ahead. We cannot turn back. America, we cannot turn back. Not with so much work to be done. Not with so many children to educate and so many veterans to care for, not with an economy to fix, and cities to rebuild, and farms to save, not with so many families to protect, and so many lives to mend. America, we cannot turn back. We cannot walk alone. At this moment, in this election, we must pledge once more to march into the future. Let us keep that promise, that American promise, and in the words of scripture, hold firmly, without wavering, to the hope that we confess. Thank you. God bless you. And God bless the United States of America.